Buddy seat. I'm your host Joseph Kamid. And I'm your host William Patrick Coleman. Today we're going to be reviewing the movie Lucy. Starring Scarlett Johansson, Morgan Freeman, Min Sik Chow, Amber Wicked, Julian Rintatut, and L.A. Tipton. Of course we can't talk about this movie without talking about the director, one of my favorite directors, and it gives me a good opportunity to talk about Luc Besson. And if you're not familiar with his work, you are now. Odds are you might have seen some of his stuff. He's the creator of La Femme Nikita. I remember La Femme Nikita. I used to watch, it, come on, it came out right after wrestling <coughs> in USA. <laughs> so he's no stranger to real strong female characters. He's also the director of The Professional. In 1994, as well as The Fifth Element in 1997, one of my favorite movies of all time, The Fifth Element. Here he is, the one and only winner of the Gemini Crockett Contest. This boy is fueled like fire. So start melting, ladies, because the boy is hotter than hot. He's hot. Nobody, nobody likes The Professional. Nobody likes The Professional? Nobody likes The Professional. Everyone likes The Professional. I've been following his work for some time now, and, and I, I gotta tell you, I'm a huge fan of his stuff, so I went into this knowing that it was going to be an awesome, awesome flick, and I wasn't disappointed. Uh, I don't know how you felt, but I thought that there was a lot of philosophical ideas behind this action. Um, I thought Scarlett Johansson did a very, very good job uh, playing a strong female character. Uh, Make sure to be careful when you remove them. The product is very powerful. Believe me. What did you think? I thought this was the worst version of Limitless. I thought Limitless was a lot better. Uh, I hated the ending of Limitless, and I actually liked the ending of this movie, but I hated the beginning of this movie, and I liked the beginning of Limitless. This movie's about a chick who is with her boyfriend, and he, like, dupes her into going to some hotel, and then this Japanese, Chinese mafia, mm -hmm. they end up taking her upstairs, and they stuff some drugs in her stomach after they... But not just any type of drugs. These are special type of These drugs. These are special Morgan Freeman mind expansion pills that explode in her stomach. And then she's got all these superpowers and it just... She's it, able to use 100% of her brain over time. Over time. When you get to the ending of the movie. Yeah, when you get towards the end of the movie. He's told in the ending of the movie! You know, uh, something else about this movie that I, I don't know if people are going to stop to realize is usually action movies tend to be about two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. This movie's a quick hour and a half. Yeah. It makes it real straight to the point, gets to the chase quick, and, and has an abrupt ending. Now, Luc Besson has been kind of out of the directing game for a while, so this is a big deal I'm talking about. He hasn't directed anything in a while, but he is responsible also for producing and writing the Transporter and the Taken films, both both series. Oh, so he's responsible for Transporter 3? Yes. Oh. Okay. Yes, yeah. But when he directs, it's a whole new ball game, and his style is not really, it's Wait, not matched. so he was responsible for Taken 2? Yes. Okay. Yes, I, he, he doesn't have, what I'm saying is he doesn't have, he's also, he also directed The Family, if you've seen that one. Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro's new. The hot chick from Glee. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer. I don't, I've never seen Glee. That's a whole new show. I just That's to a tell, whole new episode. I just want to tell everybody I haven't seen Glee. <laughs> yeah, right, that's a box set right there. 
If I was going to rate this movie, I would give it a K-14. K-14? If I were to rate it, I would give it a H-8. It gives you right in the center of all the action. It's a pretty good Yeah, but scene. it's not that good of a movie, so I don't know why you did that. It's a great movie. I'd say this is one of my favorite <sighs> movies of the summer. Go see Lucy! Go see Lucy! Go see Lucy! Don't see Transformers! If okay. you've already seen Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, go see Lucy! You can follow Buddy Seat on Twitter at Buddy Seat. You can follow me on Twitter at, at U underscore Need underscore Mead. Or you can follow me on Twitter at WPC at The Womb Call. The Womb Call. Like the womb? It, I can't change it. It was an accident. <laughs> uh, coming out this movie along with Lucy is Hercules and the Fluffy movie. Although, uh, and Brent then, Ratner sucks, though. The, the Rock's next, awesome. Then next week... Guardians of the Galaxy, get on and up. get on up.